we are here at uh, Tombstone Territorial Park. That is the most beautiful parks uh, on this damn turf. Uh, Richardson Mountains are also great, but there is no park where you can stay or you can hang around. Like you just have to go through it. Uh, but uh, this is the park which uh, which is worth staying and spending time. Like we are already, already late. We have it's already 6:45 in the evening, but we just have to get to the Dawson City. So uh, we are we are okay. Um, I, I stopped here to talk about a couple of dumpster driving tips if, if it, it might help someone. Uh, the only thing is which, uh, which we figured out slow is the fast. So if you go slow, then you will end up going further than having any problems. So that, that worked for us, You're like we were not rushing it, so it was, everything went well. Uh, if you are going too fast, there are two things you will be doing. You are putting your own safety into danger and you are putting other dumpster users safety in danger as well. Uh, you might miss a turn on the gravel or uh, you can uh, um, throw the rocks uh, with your tires on the other, other vehicles which can be very dangerous that, that can shatter their windshield and it happened to us twice because uh, the vehicle going by they were just kind of uh, flying like not kind of fast but it's going faster is different and flying through is different look at the windshield we have here so we have this which just happened on a straight road nothing someone went by super fast and uh, it just cracked it and then uh, we have our rv uh side window broken I mean, like that is the part of the dumpster as well like I cannot blame anyone but uh, slower you go slower you can save those kind of incidences uh, other than that um, the tires are the big uh, I mean big concern uh, I will recommend at least six ply tires for uh, for the dumpster you people I, I have seen people up uh, uh, close to McPherson uh, in a Honda Civic with the regular tires. Yeah, you can make it, go slow, uh, but uh, the peace of mind, if you're not in the area, you don't, you're not familiar with the, uh, all the do's and don'ts, then I will say use the six ply tires. Um, ten ply will be overkill. I have BF Goodrich KO2s, all six tires, four on the truck, two on my trailer, They've been great so far, and I have only 100 more kilometers to go. I will see uh, how it uh, how it works out. And uh, inflate them properly. I am not a technician. I am not a tire guy. But uh, um, when I started, it was too bumpy. I lowered it a little bit, uh, so it is it is stable. Like KO2s have that special capability; they can run a little low. But it's a long way. Like it's about uh, uh, 1,500 or so kilometers. Uh, up and down so you have to watch your tires every now and then uh, when you stop and have a look how hard they are any cracks or any cuts on those but so far uh, they're dirty but they're great uh, and aside from that you have to make sure when you're coming up on the dumpster uh, do not uh, uh, bring a vehicle which is a little bit iffy because if something goes wrong halfway uh, from uh, Dawson City turn around like from Klondike turn to the Dampster all the way to the Eagle Plain it's 369 kilometers so there is no help in between you have to either get back uh, or, or send a message back or to the Eagle Plains so that is also a limited help uh, so make sure like you do your right thing before you leave and it's it's bumpy out it's not bad highway it's it's a okay highway uh, because considering the remoteness of it, I, I, I call it an excellent, excellent highway actually. Uh, but uh, if you have to have everything tight on your whatever vehicle you're traveling in. On my trailer, there were a couple of things which were kind of little uh, loose or they were snug tight and I lost them. Uh, for example, I can show you now here. knobs these knobs which we 
used to pull the sewer. Um, one side has gone uh, in about uh, 700 kilometers. So when I went there, I, I, <laughs> I, I was going to release it, but there was no knob. So I had the other one. So I used one knob for both sides and now I am storing it in my compartment so I don't lose it second time. Second thing is this cap. Make sure that is tight enough uh, and um, otherwise you will lose it in this bumpy road. And inside I had, uh, because this bumpy boom 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 going on, uh, uh, my sink uh, uh, drain got loose. Like nothing broken, nothing thing. It does not broke things, but you know, like being this going continuously like this, the things get loose. Uh, so my sink was leaking. So I figured it out pretty quickly. So we, we fixed it. And uh, what else? Uh, there was something else too, which uh, which went loose. Yeah, on the on this tab. This tab. It is a plastic tab. It has a. Uh, mm, there is nothing uh, wrong with it. It, it, it does not. It, it should not be affected uh, affected by the bumps. But again, same thing by going boom 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 for 1500 kilometers. This came loose. Now it is dripping a little bit, so I taped it. So uh, be ready for because. I don't consider like broken glass or the broken windshield that could happen on any highway so that is not a uh, big deal but you know like you could save someone that extra hassle if you go slow take your time if you see a vehicle coming by uh, just slow down so in, in a nutshell like it's uh, it's a great highway it's, it's worth exploring but uh, don't be afraid to drive on the dumpster but like be ready for anything and have some uh, uh, like basic handyman skill like if something goes wrong like that, that glass broke uh, gone broken so um i put the cardboard and then i duct taped it up it looks crazy but you know like it's all there will be nothing going in if we if we had to go through a storm then that will survive it otherwise uh, it won't survive with a garbage bag or something so uh, those kind of things like um, i fixed my tap i fixed my sink those are not the big deals minor things go loose and they can be a lot of botheration so be ready for those things and uh, be familiar with the, the flat tire or all that like if it happens like i will i will definitely say uh, you don't have to bring like you can bring obviously it is recommended that you should have one at least two spare tires but i have only one but the thing is if you have decent the tires in decent shape you will be okay with the, with those tires and one spare full tire is definite like you cannot uh, get away with uh, having no spare or uh, or just a donut tire i will not recommend it because the dis distances are long and it's shale like shale will cut it off if you don't have a good tire so that's the thing everything else has been great on the highway um, and please uh, uh, follow me on the youtube or um, or the fake facebook backcountry request uh, uh, youtube is the same thing subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to get more details about the dumpster because i have uh, traveled through it and i did it slowly and i kept recording the thing so uh, i can help other people that's how i got here i got some help from the youtube and so i want to give back to the community that's my goal uh, so guys uh, if you like it please subscribe and if you have any questions about the dancer um, uh, write me in the comments or send me a message whatever you feel comfortable with okay then uh, have a good day